and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lissandra Legendary here in the Lab of Legends. Going to do a, a Legendary run for those of y'all watching it later uh, that want some like tips and tricks and everything if you're struggling with Lissandra. Um, as y'all know, if you've seen the other videos, I want to have one video of each one of the 20 champions um, in legendary for legendary mode, um, a run with each one for y'all to see. And I'm gonna, I have a playlist with them right now. We have Zillion, Malphite, Aurelia, and Fizz in the playlist. And so today we're gonna try to add Lissandra and maybe some other champions, maybe um, like Swain or, or a couple of these other ones as well. That's what we're gonna do today. I love playing these labs, and like I said, there's 20 of these champions. I want to try to knock out some of them today now Lissandra is a tough one Lissandra is it's going to be a slow champion you're going to be playing a control deck a lot of the champions like you're trying to just play real aggressive and and just and kill the AI real fast not so much with Lissandra you're playing a slow one we've actually tried this twice already on stream and gotten to Victor the final boss gotten some bad hands and lost twice and so this is going to be our third attempt at Lissandra over the last like month Hopefully today is going to be the day. <laughs> All right, so uh, the passive powers. Remember, you can you get the free rerolls that you can uh, reroll as much as you want, looking for um, a specific power. Um, with and so with this being a walkthrough, I want to try to show you like the best power to get with each one of these different champions. With Lissandra, I think the best power is going to be advanced preparations. So advanced preparations says you start the game with an ancient preparations in hand. That's fine. It's not that necessary. The big thing here is this one. Ally landmark completion effects activate twice. And that's really important because whenever you have your uh, frozen thrall or frozen, yeah, the frozen thrall that goes counts down and you get your frost guard thrall, usually you get one frost guard thrall, one eight mana eight eight. But the countdown effect will activate twice. So therefore you'll get two eight eights. And, and yeah, that sounds good. You get two eight eights. But the big thing is the Lissandra level up, right? You need to summon two a plus cost allies to level up Lissandra. So if you get the two eight eights, boom, you immediately level up Lissandra with the one frozen thrall counting down. So that's that's the important thing here. So that's why we're grabbing that. Of course, um, you can always uh, you can always make this more difficult if you want. You don't have to use free rerolls at all here. You can just choose one of the first three. You know, uh, tailor it to how you want. But let's go ahead and start with advanced preparations. We are on legendary difficulty tier. And let's get started, because this one could take a little while. Because uh, we are a control deck in the labs. Alright, so we're going to keep Lissandra, and I'm just sending the rest back. Um, no, I'll keep Tyrant Keeper also. Heal our Nexus a little bit. Good. Frozen Thrall. That's a card that we want right away. Get this countdown started. With Lissandra, you have to worry about, and sometimes you want to play Ancient Preparations first, and honestly, this may have been a time for Ancient Preparations first, but this looks good. With Lissandra, you do have to worry about um, board space down here, like the, especially like how the, this will make two different 2-2s, two this doubles up, um, Lissandra brings, like Lissandra is two things, two spaces, because it brings the Frozen Thrall, the Draclorn's two spaces. It's something that you really have to watch out for, of um, worrying about having too much. Um, you're going too wide. So we took two damage. We will take a third damage from the Ice Shard. But three damage is the uh, acceptable number, because we're going to have Tavern Keeper, Catalyst of Aeons. Another thing about... Um, I could block this one better. Another thing about Lissandra, because you're playing a slow deck and because you're playing Taver Tavern Keeper, Catalyst of Aeons that can heal your Nexus, you can, if you want, you can, uh, once you take control of the game, since you're playing against the AI, and it's, you know, not just like an opponent, they're, the AI is not going to concede. So you can, like, sit there and just kind of not attack for a while. And just wait till you draw your t Tavern Keeper and Catalyst of Aeons if you want. Come, my warrior. 
and wait until wait until you can heal your nexus up because remember you only have this one life total until you defeat the boss until you see thresh or sejuani and then of course victor so that's something if you have patience and you you know that's something you can do if, if you have less than 30 and you've already controlled the board and and everything you can you can do that all right, so for us, let's just go ahead and uh, cast this Catalyst of Aeons, get to 30. Feel the power of true ice. So we're at 30. We'll be able to attack them for lethal next round with all of these, or with these two Frozen Thralls, you would think. Frostguard thralls. Might as well just play this. We don't need that other uh, frozen thrall. Okay. So we got nine stages to go. First one complete. And we are still at 30 life, so that's good. Alright, thank you, M. Thor. M. Thor just redeemed a donation deck for Meme Tier. A pesky vine deck. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, what do we got here? We got Sejuani with Ruthless Raider and Wolf Rider. I kind of like this. Now, I, I choose Nocturne quite a bit. I do like Nocturne a lot because Onlooker is a one drop. Having one drops is important. Um, and then Doom Beast with the Drain is really good. Um, so I like both of those. Yasuo, I feel like, is a little slower. We're already a slower deck. I don't think we need to choose Yasuo. I'm, I, I'm going to choose one of these two. Um, Sejuani or Nocturne. I'm I'm intrigued by this Wolf Rider and just Sejuani in general. I haven't really seen Sejuani very much in these labs, to be honest. I haven't really seen that. Yeah, the onlooker will die to the ice shards, but but I'm tra I'm planning on having the onlooker block and like trade before that, right? So like it, I'm not really like I don't think it'll be alive for the ice shards anyway. Okay. So yeah, all right. Chat saying that Sejuani is good. Okay, let's try the Sejuani. I don't I don't think I've ever cho chosen Sejuani before. Um, I've done the Noc I choose Nocturne all the time. I like the Nocturne package. But yeah, I like the I'm intrigued by the ramp with the Wolf Rider. And. The 3-1 the tough is a great blocker. We are always going to have the advanced preparations that we could play round one, right? So we'll always have something to play round one. Okay. I, I love the Ice Veil Archer on two. I like Draclorn on five. I'm going to send Catalyst of Aeons back, though. I've kind of found that it's difficult to just, like, take a couple of rounds off and actually cast the Catalyst of Aeons in this mode. Um, going with the Frozen Thrall round one. Like I said, a lot of times you may want to play the Preparations round one, depending. But I'm going to play the Frozen Thrall round one because we have this Draclorn, and so then we'll be able to pop it round five. Okay. I want to... Which one do we want to trade with? The Bark Beast or the Mist Wraith? I think I want to trade with the Bark Beast. So whichever one you're going to block, you Frostbite the other thing. If we were gonna, if we wanted to block the Mist Wraith, we would Frostbite the Bark Beast and so on. Um... <laughs> My plan is to block that Mist Wraith. Mm. I was not ho I was hoping they didn't have that. Let's talk about your okay, so we're taking some damage. Save Ice Veil Archer where we can maybe get better use out of that Frostbite later. Okay, so now we'll have the double 8-8s for blockers. Okay. 
Okay, we frostbite this 7-6, so we don't have to worry about it at all. With it being ephemeral. Just basically kills that. Uh, you can block there. You can block... I'm just going to trade away this Wolf Rider. We're going to need the space anyway. I guess I'm going to keep block there. What's up, Dan? Yeah, you're at Platinum 2 and then dropped back to Platinum 4. Is that normal? Absolutely. Yeah, people yeah, definitely go back and forth between, you know, Platinum 4, 3, 2, 1, and, and you know, kind of go up and down. Yeah, that that's definitely normal. So this is the kind of, so this is what I'm talking about of, like, when you're kind of in control like this, you could just kind of not attack as much and sit here and wait until we draw Catalyst of Aeons and Kindly Tavern Keeper to heal the Nexus. Um, that is definitely an option. I don't think I actually play anything. I, because, again, we can only go six wide. And so this is about to pop for two 8-8s. Eight I, I want to play Uzgar. Right, and so like I just don't want like these things clogging up. Is Uzgar, Uzgar good? Uh, I guess... Yes, Sejuani. I got a new. I got a different Sejuani. So if we wanted to be patient, like as you can tell, like this game is over. Like they're just gonna play like some mist rates, and obviously we can handle some mist mist rates with, with us guards and now more eight eights. So if we wanted to, we could just kind of sit back and not attack, and wait till we draw Nexus healing things. So I'm not gonna do that for this. Hopefully we can still just defeat Thresh. But that's the kind of thing if you want to be patient. You can make sure with having Lissandra and having those Nexus healing cards, you can kind of make sure you're at 30 life all the time to help you out. Yes, definitely accepting donation decks right now, Nerf Capitalism. I do have a good... Most of all of my donation decks right now are... We're going to give Lissandra a regen. That sounds good. Our uh, meme tier. I don't have very many for ranked, but I have a, I have a good amount for meme tier right now. Rune tier, Runeterra LP caps you in ranked. I don't even know what that means, but I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what that means. Plat 4 to 2 is 200 LP. Yeah. Right, it is. Okay, anyway, we're going to we're going to we're going to take this regeneration. I don't want to make my stuff ephemeral. The plus 4 plus 2 but to cost two more is is intriguing. We'll just give Lissandra regen. Brom, dude, I love Brom. Brom's like my favorite. Yeah. Awesome. We got Brom now. Dan says, if you're continuously winning, it will find decks harder, harder decks against yours. No, that doesn't happen. That is, I don't know. I don't understand why people think that that happens. Why would? Okay, so I, I've heard people say that a lot, and it's just completely absurd to me that if you win a good amount of rank, like if you win in ranked, then the algorithm will find more difficult decks for you to play. It's just so it's just so absurd. Like why? Is like my main question. What what would Riot have to possibly gain? One, like what would that algorithm even look like? Like how would they even, like how would they even write like that kind of algorithm? That seems like it would take so much work to like even try to figure out what kind of algorithm that could possibly be. How it would be used. But to what 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 does Riot have to possibly gain to keep one random person who won five in a row to try to keep them from winning six in a row, right? Like, what? <laughs> Why? It's not... Right has absolutely nothing to gain from an algorithm like that. It just doesn't make... It just doesn't make any sense. What? What's the point? It doesn't matter to, to Riot who wins or loses each game. Like, It's not like they... Yeah, it just doesn't matter. This was a good open attack, and maybe I should have just open attacked because of that. 
Mm. It's still fine-ish. I don't love trading Ruthless Raider with those. I'll trade my 2-2s, two because uh, again, we have the limited board space here, so I'm, I'm fine trading the 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, basically, what it is, is the more you win, the higher your rank goes up, and therefore the better players you're playing against, because you're playing against other people that have achieved that same rank. And so you're going to be playing against better players. And so therefore it'll be more difficult to win. That's what it really is. It's not some algorithm that Riot is trying to force people down. There's nothing like that. Nothing absurd like that happening. A shield in the air. Do not fear death. I'll protect the villages. Okay, yeah, you have donation deck there. Um, the winter's claw. That thing will actually kill. Lissandra, I don't want that to happen. We're gonna get our damage in, get the Wolf Rider in. What do you want me to check with the donation deck there, Nerf, nerf Capitalism? Yeah, Old Masters players can be in Platinum right now because they, they just changed their ranks not that long ago from... You know, with people that were in Masters going back down to Platinum. It's not like they're on, like, a different account, but, you know, like, if they're just... It's summertime, they're just on vacation. Living their life, doing whatever. Oh, I can't block that thing. I want to block that thing with that. Rip their flesh! I'll take everything! And now they, they come back and their their accounts on platinum. That's completely reasonable. Because I need this ruthless raider to die. Okay, or that thing dies. <laughs> I need something to die to give me room for the frost guard throw. Man, that's not leveled up yet. Stand and fight. Should level up here. Yeah, okay. So that's why I couldn't, you know, definitely couldn't attack with Cassandra. Like that. Oh, right, I have no Draclorn. <laughs> These don't just turn into 8 8s all the time at 4. I gotta actually wait and be patient. Oh, that thrush is big. I think I'm going to just entomb this thing. Have it chill for a minute. Which, I guess I can play the Tavern Keeper first. Leave your backs at the door. Everyone's a garden. Right. I could not play the Tavern Keeper first because it could have attacked and put something into play. Never mind. That was a bad... <laughs> like... This worked out perfectly. It shouldn't have worked out so well, but it worked out well. Oh, that's a lot of those. Remember, so this is this is Thresh. This is the boss. We will um, we'll heal our Nexus after this, so we can take six. Plus, I got, got these catalysts. All right, well, let's just play the Ice Veil Archer to try to get this attack in right now. Well, they got no blockers. Awesome, drew a Fury of the North. Okay, but that'll do. Um, advice for new streamer gaining audiences. Main thing is, like, have a schedule, stick to it. You know, realize you're not going to have very many viewers at first, and that's okay. But just, you know, have your schedule, stick to it, be consistent. So people know what to, so your viewers you do have know what to expect and stuff like that. Allied buffs except barrier are permanent. When an ally survives damage, grant a plus one, plus one. 
Okay, so the passive powers are really important, and this is where I would be willing to use a reroll if we find something, if we don't find one that we like. A sparring student is okay, but it's not amazing. Endurance, also okay, but not amazing. I do like endurance with Lissandra, Ruthless Raider, Braum. We do actually have like some good units for this endurance. I could, I could see taking this endurance. Um, the can't stop, won't stop is cool for different decks. It doesn't really help us too much. We don't really, yeah, that, that's a, that is a cool power. It sounds awesome, but yeah, it doesn't really work for us. So yeah, ice shards would be able to, get, and and they always, with the AI with this, they always attack with small things all the time. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this endurance. I think it just fits our deck really well. Like this, Lissandra with regen, Braum with regen. Let's do it. Let's take endurance. So this is where you get a spell reinforcement, and you just get two copies of a random spell in the game. Now, um, I I don't basically ever recommend using your rerolls for this. I think using your rerolls for those passive powers that you know to find a good passive power that's very important. And also later on, whenever you are uh, reinforcing your deck with different cards that you have in that add in abilities, you can definitely use your rerolls there as well. This is just two random spells in the entire game. You could have three bad spells. You reroll it, you get three bad spells again, and it just it's just not worth the reroll. All right, but for us. We have, honestly, these are all like acceptable choices. You know, like Winter's Breath um, could could be pretty important against like a deck that has like a whole bunch of uh, powerful allies that we want to just like frostbite them. All oh, that that could be useful. Um, this revitalizing roar could be useful for like healing the Nexus, especially with like an Uzgar. And also, Sun Blessed Vigor is really good with like protecting our early units, like especially protecting like. Ruthless Raider, Lissandra, stuff like that. I'm going to take this Sunblessed Vigor. I think that I, I want... We have different Nexus healing already. I think I want it... Especially with, like, having... Whenever our allies survive damage, they get the plus one, plus one. We could just got that Endurance. And so I want, like, the Sunblessed Vigor to help Lissandra help Ruthless Raider. And then they have the Endurance and they keep growing. Like, I feel like that could be awesome with, like, Ruthless Raider. So um, let's go ahead and take this Sunblessed Vigor. Yeah, I could have gone Revitalizing Roar for Watcher. That's true. I'm more worried about the early parts of the game than what to do with Watcher. Alright, we got the Hunters. Let's keep Braum. Alright, Lissandra Braum. This is going to be a pretty good hand... I will take the three sisters, actually. Or I could just skip. Yeah, I'll just skip. No, I'll just take three sisters. Three sisters is going to be a good combat trick to have access to. Because we already have, like, this next round we do nothing. We take three. Uh, we take a lot more than three. But we save the spell mana. Yeah, Nexus healing is always good. I will Maybe I should have taken that. I was thinking the, sun, the Sunblast Vigor could be pretty sweet, though. Alright, I don't think that they play anything that costs 8 plus. No, they don't. So they, this face of the old ones doesn't really do anything. How can Brom help? See, look at Sunblast Vigor doing its thing. Survive damage, plus one, plus one. Survive damage, plus one, plus one. Okay, this Endurance is paying off. I'm just going to Catalyst of Aeons right here and just ramp a little bit.
You're just helping me out right there. I don't have to attack in there. Because, okay, so I have Fury of the North, plus three, plus four. They probably have... No, I don't think they play Fury of the North. I don't think they play Fury of the North. Wield your fury. I think we're good here. Yeah, we good. Alright, we're back to 30. going to save some room. <laughs> I feel like I need to play this Ruthless Raider or save that 3-3 or anything like that. Oh, Sedgwani's Fury of the North. Maybe I'll let this Sedgwani die. All right, we are close to getting these Frozen Thralls out here. I guess leveled up Brawl making the Mighty Poros may end up you know, taking up too much room. This Endurance thing, though. <laughs> Brawl's gotten plus five, plus five. Uh, okay, so Sandra's only gotten plus two, plus two. So 20, plus three, plus three. All right, Entomb you. Block, block. Yeah, we have we have room for one of these. Which why don't I just consume you? Yeah, Sunblast Vigor has been looking good. I've been very happy with it. Yeah, I think I think Jarvan Shen's better position than Fiora Shen right now. Jarvan's really, really good right now. So we're at 30. We can't go any higher than 30. You will do as I this is fun, yes? Okay. I was forged by wind. So far, pretty pretty happy about our deck. We're four down, five to go. In you know the, with the nine stages, real glad we got that Brom. Porealis is too expensive. Um, Behold the Infinite plus draw a card. That's pretty expensive still, or just a random four mana three three challenger. None of these are good. I really don't want any of these cards. So we could reroll. I guess we re-roll, because I just, I just don't want any of these cards. I don't like using re-rolls, though, but... Th because of these are... These do have, like, the items and stuff, these can be some powerful cards, so I guess... I guess we'll use one. That was a good re-roll. That was a very good re-roll. Both of these two are awesome. Omen Hawk with Twin Shadows and One Mana Blue Sentinel. Both of those are awesome. I'll take the Omen Hawk... Yeah, I think we take the Omen Hawk with Twin Shadows. That was a good reroll. 
I don't know, this Blue Sentinel is pretty awesome also, to be honest. But this is a Hawk stream, <laughs> right? So maybe we should take the Hawk. Okay, and then we can have the, the Hawk have plus one, plus one. Or, this is, these are great. Catalyst of Aeons costing two mana? That is great. Plus, that would be another copy of Catalyst. This with the plus one, plus one. Or just Braum having Fury. So then, once Braum survives damage and then starts killing stuff as Fury, it's going to grow so big. Dude, this is... These are nice. Uh, can I take all of them? I need... I want all of these. <laughs> Mordecai says these are too good. Just reroll. <laughs> yeah, what do we take? Do we take Fury, Braum? Or maybe we just take more... Uh, we should probably just take more Omen Hawks, honestly. But man, that pass passing up this Catalyst of Aeons. But we should probably get more copies of this awesome one drop. Yeah. Yeah, we should take we should take that. Y'all likes the catalyst. I think that just having more copies of that one drop to play later on, it gets you like because that's gonna be You know, like they're gonna be two twos, plus that's gonna be two plus two plus twos to the top things in our deck. Alright, so you're gone. We're keeping keep keep yeah wolf rider is a keep so with this specific matchup against scars it really uh they have a lot of three health units and so these uh these two twos that ancient preparations make are pretty deep out pretty devalued because you don't want you don't want them blocking and their stuff surviving. This land is the Ruthless Raider is like the one thing that you can trade with, but they, you know, like the ancient preparations, you can only get like the two twos now. I will bury the world in ice. Uh, kind of bad. That's pretty bad. Why don't you have Challenger, Lissandra? I am inevitable. Destruction feeds my fire. All right, this was this did not go according to plan. This did not go according to plan. A true Fragonian welcome. You cannot fight the cold. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, that was probably a bad attack by me before. Ancient preparations, do I want you out here? Yes. I will take set 20. Set 20 will be able to do stuff. This escalated pretty quickly. Braum dies, but we kill all, all this other stuff that we have to kill. Or not. I'm down to 19. 
Hasn't worked out too well. I have to play... I'm, I'm going to be playing Sejuani next round. Yeah, I still... I play the Wolf Rider. It's not the Cattle Stance. It's not worth it right now. Gotta kill that thing. Okay, so we aren't... Oh, that's a good draw. Alright, so we're not looking that, that bad. Please attack. No, I shouldn't have played the Dracorn because of this one. I just wasted. I, will remind the world of true power. I was, I was thinking they're going to attack, right? And that we were going to be able to block and have, a, you know, like have like the said, have both the Sejuani and the Wolf Rider die, but then they just didn't attack. Get rid of this thing. What's up, Naked Knight? Uh, is there something extra about the featured cards in the new labs? What do you... I guess I'm not sure. What do you mean by the featured cards in the new labs? What are those? I guess I'm just attacking here. You fool! Pity is for the weak! Good, they weren't able to save, save Scar Mother. Good, and got, got rid of that overwhelm. Brothers born from battle. Oh, in the shops? Oh, okay. I understand what you're saying. Like, in the shops, how they have the feature cards. What that's all about is those are cards... Those are, like, the the price, whatever price they are, is cheaper than normal. That's what the feature card is, is, like, they're they're cheaper than what you would, what you should expect for that card. Less less expensive with whatever um, resource it would require to um, buy them. With your back, not too late. I've bigger scars. That's true. I could have been using this ice shard to buff our board. The health stays the same, but then the power grows. It's all good. Okay, so that was a rough. That was a rough round. We took some damage. We ended up at what twenty one. I didn't even, like, really see what I drew, like, that last round, if I could have healed my Nexus. Maybe I might have drawn a Tavern Keeper. None of these are good. Alright, do we use a reroll? I don't like using rerolls here, because, again, random... Especially the spell reinforcements, because you just get random spells. They could be some poor spells. Um, Alright, so obviously this one in the middle is just not even, not even worth it. So this will be zero mana onslaught of shadows. You get like the two spectral riders for like zero mana once you play like two spells. Eh. Yeah, maybe we just take the winter's breath. It could come in clutch. That's true. All right, we'll take winter's breath. Ooh, man, these are good. All right, these are good with with these two. We can either have the ruthless raider have fury or the ice archer with the plus one plus one is important because then it the plus one plus one can have it survive damage more often. Um, maybe this Ruthless Raider with the Fury. I don't know. I kind of want more Icefield Archers because they play like really good defense and stuff, actually. Because, you know, we get one additional copy. I think I'd rather have a third Icefield Archer. All right, I'm going to choose the Icefield Archer, actually. 
if we are an aggressive deck, we're taking, you know, we're taking... That's the thing. It's like, we're we're a control deck, so I think I want the Icefield Archer. If we're an aggressive deck, we're taking that Ruthless Raider. Alright, so 20 boss fight. You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. We'll keep one Tavern Keeper. Let's get some Omen Hawks. Oh, where are my new cool Omen Hawks? Omen Hawk. Boo. No Omen Hawk, but Draklorn. We'll take Draklorn. We're going to want some Frostbite cards for... Because I am scared of, like, big Sejuani. Sejuani is very scary. Also, just finding some way to... Oops. Finding some way to stop this Weirding Stones is really important. So we're going to take more damage and kill this Weirding Stones. Gotta slow that down. Alright, start the Frozen Thrall. Pass. Good. Good defensive card. Alright, so we got our Ice Shard combat trick to buff up Tavern Keeper, so that trades, that trades now. Now these all trade before, without that Ice Shard, none of those would have traded. Alright, killed a bunch of stuff. Clear up the board to help out Draklorn. Okay, I'm not too scared of that Flockling, you know, that, that's 4 damage. I guess that, that thing does have Fury, but I think that's okay. Alright, what if... I, I like what we've drawn. I like that we have an Entomb. I like that we have this Three Sisters. I like what we've drawn. So we're going to have the Icefield Archer Winter's Breath combo. Kill the Sejuani. Now get some Mate Eights. I don't. I, I've never owned a owned a printer. So I don't. I don't have any tips for a printer that's not working. Sorry, morning tea time. Uh, I mean, I have eight eights for their seven sevens. I don't. I think I can play this. I think we're free to play this. Watch them run. Embrace the combat. All right, there we go. Got through Sejuani. Okay, we're on the last leg. Now to Piltover and Zon. Got through Sejuani. Oh, yeah, that's true. YouTube's probably the way to go. <laughs> There's maybe something on there. All right, passive power. This is important. Start of the game, summon two Vanguard lookouts. Eh, it's all right, but not great. Round start, refill your spell mana. Oh, I love that power, because that's all that extra mana is really useful. That's a good one. Start of the game, summon a hibernating rock bear. When an ally landmark counts down to zero, create a hibernating rock bear in hand. Eh, let's get some free mana. Free mana. That's always good. Wow. Okay. I'm going Phage on Lissandra. So you could get Lissandra. Like, I love this this Spirit Stone when I'm summoned, create a fleeting copy of me. 
in hand. Oh, that never mind. That's not as good. I was thinking it was the ephemeral copy next to it. Like, you get the two of them. I was going to say that that could just take up too much room with just getting multiple frozen thralls. Never mind. That one's not as good. We're taking the phage. Getting Lissandra plus two, plus two. I mean, I would rather have Braum have the plus two, plus two, to be honest, but... <laughs> We should take we should put it on Lissandra. So now Lissandra is gonna be a four five tough regen. But we still gotta figure out how to kill this Professor Vanya. Alright, I'm setting all these back. We need cheap we need cheap cards with the foundry. This foundry is a really difficult stage. Okay, I'm leading with advanced preparations to get these blockers out as soon as possible. Mostly, let's take let's take the Braum. Mostly because they're not attacking right now. And I really hope they don't open attack, because I want to be able to play this Omen Hawk and then have the multiple blockers on the Omen... Um, you know, like, with the Omen Hawk. Okay, uh, get Frozen Thrall Countdown started. If I... See, these are going to die. Yeah, we can get this started. Very risky indeed. Okay. You block here, block here. Oh, no! Uh, need to kill that Professor Von Yep. Oh! It survives damage against the plus one plus one! Never mind, not okay, never mind. It worked out. Right, it's not just plus one plus zero. Plus one plus one. Anything helps. <laughs> okay. Good. We got Von Yep out of here. Oh wow. This is a huge omen hawk. Not gonna lie, I want to play that Omen Hawk. Ages Because if we play that Omen Hawk right there, I I need this to die. Honestly, <laughs> we need the board space. That was kind of the problem with playing that first person at all. If we play that Omen Hawk, then the next ally will have plus four, plus four. We would have two of the Omen Hawk things. So like, whatever our next ally is gonna be. Wow. So yeah, that Tyrant Keeper would have been a 7-7. Seven, seven. Jay Madarda. Actually, let's just do let's do this to start with. Sorry, Mighty Poro. We ain't got the room. Deal three to that? Sure. So it's a two, three. Now a five, six. Man, we're almost gonna level up Braum in one round. Heal our Nexus a little bit. Get it back to 30. And now we got room for Uzgar this next round. Drink up. 
So we have leveled up Braum, we just don't have room. <laughs> you know, like we're, we're gonna have like mighty poros and stuff, we just don't have room. This has gone incredibly well for us so far. But I guess we're gonna take three total damage. I shouldn't play that Tavern Keeper, I could have healed like, in, like one more. Come on, Catalyst. Mm. We just want to heal our Nexus a little bit more. All right, I... So I assume this is just going to go away as a 1-3. I think that's a pretty fair assumption. All their, all their blockers. Oh, they're out of cards. Okay, so we took four damage. I think that's acceptable. I think, you know, 26. That's not bad. That's not bad. Man, Omen Hawk plus two plus two. Yes, dude, we're gonna have some sweet Omen Hawks. Yeah, I I mean double three sisters is pretty ridiculous though, also, right? Like you get two flash freezes, two fewer of the norths. But now we're I'm taking d double omen hawk. Or like the plus two plus two on this omen hawk. Yeah, this is a hawk deck now. This is a hawk deck. I mean, Ruthless Raider is awesome, but I just want Omen Hawks. Should I, I should probably keep a Ruthless Raider, right? Because we could draw a lot worse. No, we can send it back. We'll find Omen Hawk. I got faith. No, I shouldn't have faith. I guess round two, we can Catalyst. Is taking Omen Hawk better than taking? Is it better than taking Draclorn? Maybe not. All right, so down to eighteen. But Heimer's out of here. I will bury the world. It's a big Ruthless Raider. The other thing is we can sit back and just not attack and block. Usually a good way to, to win this is, and probably, probably honestly the best way to win this matchup, especially with the control deck that we are, is to try to not kill anything and just try to mill them out. That's going to be our most effective way of winning this game, most likely. And so we want... Uh, we just want them because basically you, you want their board to be filled like this so that whenever rounds start they get the turret that turret gets obliterated because they don't have room for anything so that's kind of our goal here now with that being said i do want to play this wolf rider and ramp that's not really that important though right maybe that's not that important all right so we just want these things to continue to get obliterated. Regen for the win. Nine tough. Welcome to the Tipsy 
We're just gonna wait him out. So we got eight cards left. Waiting them out, starting to get a little tougher. Okay. You can go there, you can go here. Just in, just in case. Oh, fearsome. They obliterated my Mighty Poro, but we had room for the Mighty Poro. We had room for that thing. They'll probably start being able to get their 8-8s now. So maybe I should just kill these two fours because they're going to get their 8-8s anyway. The reason to do this is these have all these things have regen anyway. They survive damage. They get the plus one, plus one, so they'll be able to block better. All right, cool. They filled their board, so no 8-8. Eight, eight. They're down to nine cards. Yeah, let that happen. I need them to attack. Or, basically, okay, I can't play Wolf Rider, because if I play Wolf Rider and then they don't attack, then we're in a lot of trouble. Just in case. Feel the power of true ice. And by we're in, we're in a lot of trouble, I mean we don't get the two eight eights. Happy to do whatever's needed. So I'm at twenty two. Basically, we just hope to draw a Nexus healing right now. This game's over. We're good. You will do as I command. Just need Nexus healing. That's gonna kill them, isn't it? All right, they're not dead. We've done three out of five for Watcher. I'm so totally concerned. So we can entomb our own. Can we ever tune? Yeah, we can. We can entomb our own units. We can. We can entomb like a Frost Guard Thrall and have it come back and make that an additional one. But you know, that takes a couple of rounds for it to come back. We have seven rounds to draw some Nexus healing. So of course we can attack and kill them, but we're about to face Victor the next round. I've lost Victor a couple of times. I really want Nexus healing. Ugh. Yeah, I guess we should just Ice Shard, but I kind of don't really want to attack. I don't know, maybe we'll just kill these things. What's up, Velvet? Dude, the Lab of Legends is awesome. I know there's the new Lab of Legends mode too, but this is this mode is really cool still. Alright, come on. Next ceiling. Oh. Make your boy. 
I think this endurance was a good choice though for a power. We've gotten some good powers. I wasn't like expecting the endurance to be this good, <laughs> but this endurance has been amazing. Each time our allies survive damage, grant them plus one plus one. They're down to four cards. So, you know, this would be like BM against another player, right? But against the AI, this is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, actually, I'm running out of room. Wait, win, cast, draw a card? Oh, yeah, let's actually, let's do this. Let's draw a card. Get us closer to Nexus Healing. So I don't want to play the champion spells because... They put champions in the deck, and I don't. I don't want to have a, a champion. But we have to play something, though. Let's play you. Because otherwise, if I don't play anything, then the top card will get burned. Because we make the ice shard here. Osgar. Osgar gets me closer to Watcher. Glorious evolution is what they created. That's that's pretty sweet. Now they have the Adaptatron Glorious Evolution. That's pretty sweet. All right, we got just a couple more draws. Man, I may be just wasting a ton of time for nothing. Yeah, we want Tavern Keeper or Catalyst. We are not finding them, though. <laughs> Just to make Lissandra 1718 regen, right? Uh. Yeah, I don't know why not. Okay, that'll at least draw a card. Gives us another chance at Catalyst, Tavern Keeper. Yeah! All right, so we'll see if all this work was worth it. I don't need to play Ice Shard, it's just waste time. Oh, I guess I need to play something. Okay, all right, didn't matter. All right, so we, <laughs> we just spent like an extra like four minutes playing whenever we could have killed them to, for three life. <laughs> but you never know, that three life could be worth it. I don't want to lose this. Okay, let's use a reroll. I don't really care about our Winter's Breath. Don't, don't need that. Yeah, let's use a reroll. This is just the last boss. We got two rerolls left. So Lissandra can have nab one. Eh. Diamond one to nab stuff? I guess. I guess we could nab stuff. I think I'm gonna reroll again. Oh, the so the eye shards kept the item. So the, so our eye shards would have healed our nexus all the time. Okay, maybe I should have taken that. I just didn't want to put more eye shards like into the decks. Like against against Victor, eye shards not very good. All right, so we have Wolf Rider with plus two, plus two, so a six, five Wolf Rider, or Braum when I'm summoned, draw a card. Get an extra copy of Braum in here. Maybe six, five Wolf Rider? Because six, fives can start trading with stuff. I don't know. You think it's just Braum draw a card? 
I am worried about running out of cards. Braum's pretty awesome. All right, let's do it. Let's go Braum, draw a card. You don't have to convince me much to be able to take to take Braum. Because, yeah, that that's how we've lost the other two times, is we just had really bad hands and ran out of cards. And so I think that the card draw could be necessary. So we'll take the Braum draw card. Let's get rid of those. Keep Frozen Thrall and Braum. Isn't isn't the best opening hand? We have Braum on three now with Catalyst on two. Skip those. We want, uh, of course, our, our best cards are Omen Hawk and Lissandra. This actually doesn't look that great. Why do we always have such bad hands against Victor? <laughs> I shouldn't have kept the Frozen Thrall. We need Omen Hawk and Lissandra. Okay, there's Lissandra. Am I playing you, Lissandra, or Braum? I kind of want to play the Braum. No, it's the song. I will bury the world in ice. Yeah, I should not have kept this frozen at all. That's rude. Plans within plans. Go on, shake my hand. Three with two E's and high grip. So I'm thinking I can wait on the Ice Shard and be able to hit the Braum also and like get damage in on, on you know, now the Ice Shard will do damage to these things. How are they not attacking with the Elusive? Victor is nerve wracking. I guess I wait till next round for Omen Hawk. Sure, but I'm gonna stay a little bit, right? I knew they were playing that. I probably should have a quick attack. Probably should have waited on the Ice Bill Archer. Yeah, we do run out of cards. I'm glad we got the card draw with the Braum. So these are all attacking... I guess we gotta kill Victor, right? I don't know. This this elusive though. That elusive super scary. Alright, get him, bro. This 
custom meow function. Dude, our champions are awesome. <laughs> Regen with both of those. He's got Scout now. Okay, I was gonna say they still can't attack, but I guess, what do I know? Do we take three? I think we can take three. All right, it's looking good. Brahm and Lissandra have this in check. Let's have Sejuani join the party. Okay, I guess we'll just use this to kill the Plaza Guardian. I think we're going to get this. I think we're going to get this. They fear I don't want to play anything, of course, because we're going to get the 288s. Gotta make sure we have room for the 288s. I more than I am ice yeah, even if they had Catastrophe, we'd have it Catastrophe pretty covered with the Entomb. Now we got the tough Nexus. Is that it? Is that it? There we go! Got there! Alright, Legendary Lissandra run. Complete. Yeah, GG's. We did survive. Alright, that was sweet. So there we go. Got a good lab, man. Check out that Omen Hawk. So that advanced preparation, pretty important uh, power. Getting the, those double 8-8s to level up your Lissandra right away. Endurance really, really overperformed. I was I was not expecting it to be as good as it was, but man, it was awesome with having regen Lissandra. And then we got Braum also. And I guess we got the Braum first. So having Lissandra and Braum together with that endurance was amazing we were almost in all freljord deck you know i only took a couple of cards like the sun blessed vigor which we didn't actually really need that much but we only took a couple of cards that weren't freljord like our other champions were freljord and then sorcery is a wonderful power so awesome awesome deck there we go that's lissandra on legendary difficulty Hopefully uh, this helped you out, those y'all on YouTube later on that have been struggling with Lissandra. Hopefully y'all learned some stuff from this little walkthrough here. Uh, we're going to continue on and, and get with uh, all the other champions. So if there's any champions, those y'all on YouTube, if there's any specific champions that you want to see uh, next, let me know in the comment section and I'll make sure to do a run with that one as well. All right, but thank you so much for watching the Lab of Legends with Lissandra. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you for the next video.